Neisner is burning. Four people, including a three-year-old child, are confirmed dead. Authorities are still rushing to evacuate residents as wildfires rage on through the scenic garden route. This comes after five people were killed in the Cape Town fires. An additional 120 firefighters and 11 fire engines have been deployed, as the army also pitched in as of this morning to help with the firefighting efforts. Buses from the nearby George municipality have been pressed into service to rescue stranded residents. Strong winds have been fanning 26 fires at several locations. By 2 a.m. this morning, around 10,000 people had been evacuated from Velbedacht, Narnia, Eastford, Green Pastures and Neisner Heights suburbs. Amid the destruction to property, tragedy strikes as the inferno claims the lives of a farmer, Tony Johnston, his wife, Madre, and their son, Michael, in the Renendal area. There have been unconfirmed reports that Mrs. Johnston was pregnant. The N2 between Neisner and Plettenberg Bay remains closed. The highway to George has reopened, according to reports, as light rain fell in the area this morning. The Neisner fire has been described as the biggest fire in a residential area in recent years. The other priority is the humanitarian situation. We have had to evacuate between seven and 8,000 people overnight. Um, they were moved into different areas and we have deployed a significant number of resources overnight and as we speak today, um, in order for us to get control of the fire and um, to stop the fire spread because we have fire spread in the, towards the Plettenberg Bay region. We need to announce that there's another fatality that we've um, just re received the news that we found a three years old body, um, bringing the total to nine fatalities since we've started with this disaster. 34 schools was damaged. We have had a lot of um, requests about the, the aerial support and the use thereof. The fact is that the winds are at this stage at, a, at the kind of level that it hasn't been possible to deploy aerial support. But we, we are moving them into the area and as the situation changes, we'll then be able to, to put the helicopters into the areas that we need to use them the most. The South African National Defence Force has responded to their call. Uh, we are going to deploy uh, three helicopters, which is one BK-177 and uh, two Oryx helicopters to assist uh, in the fight, in the firefighting uh, in, the, in the era the at night. And we are also going to deploy deploying uh, our troops. The troops, they are going to assist with the law enforcement. And so you know that people have been evacuated in their homes and in their businesses so far, uh, so that uh, our troops are going to, uh, to patrol around so that they cannot be eluding. Those are the things which we are going to deploy. And we are also going to deploy uh, the, water, the water bankers to assist uh, with water uh, for fighting uh, the raging fires in Niger. This is the present, at present moment that our SNDF, the assets which we are going to deploy at Niger. We have the fires that are still raging around Nysna. The fires within Nysna that were burning last night are now contained, except in the upper areas called um, Hunt, sorry, Upper Old Place as well as Nysna Heights. So firefighters are at the moment concentrating the efforts at the Bazula country estate, which is right next to the Bazula Golf Course. The fires are raging there, but they're also raging on the other side of town near the Simola Golf Course. And we are um, asking people, especially that have been evacuated last night, to remain evacuated. We have to beg them not to go back to their homes, because if they should go back to their homes and the fire turns on itself, we are taking our firefighters away from the most important work that they are doing.